watched the Olympics or you've attended a track meet, and if you have, then you're aware of the event, the high jump. And in this event, the athlete will run towards the bar and jump up and try to clear the bar. So what you did not know is that the form that most athletes are using is called the bump break block. So today I'm going to be discussing the new form, the fog very flop, and then the old form, because back then, they, a long time ago, they didn't use that form, they used a different form. So I've participated in track and field for six years, and all six years I have participated in high jump, and I've also done some more extensive research on it to better my knowledge. So uh, the two types of techniques I'll be discussing is the scissor or the scissor kick form, and also the fog break flop. So the original technique, or one of the most popular original techniques, is the scissor kick. And in this form, the jumper would approach the bar straight on, and then when they would get reach the bar, they would jump straight up, and they would pull both their legs up and clear the bar that way, usually in, in a front flip or other face on the mat or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there are some advantages and some disadvantages to this form. And uh, Jesus de Pina, who gave a lecture about the evolution of high jumping technique states that both legs are below the level of the bar at the peak of the jump, which increases the height of the pelvis, therefore the bar is easier to clear. Which I don't really understand how that makes it easier to clear because I think it's extremely hard to be able to pull both legs up <laughs> to jump over the bar. But um, one of the disadvantages of this form, which I have personally experienced, is when you're running straight at the bar and you go to jump, you lose all of your momentum that you just built up running because you kind of have to stop to jump up. So doing all that running doesn't really do anything. So you're using mostly your strength and your legs to clear the bar. So, and this is the side profile and the front view of the scissor kick. And as you can see, it looks pretty complicated. So now that I've talked about the old form, I'll talk about the newer form, the fog break form. And this form was invented in 1968 by an American athlete named Dick Fosbury. And he found a more efficient approach and form to getting over the bar. So instead of running straight at the bar, you run at a J or a curved form, which this helps build up more momentum. And uh, then when you approach the bar, you still jump off one leg, but instead of jumping and bringing your whole body up to go over the bar, you arch your back and you clear the bar like with your head first and then with your back. And then when you're about halfway over, then you kick your legs up, which will bring your butt and kind of throw you back. So you land on your back instead of on your face on the back. So this way is more efficient because one, the curved approach as you're um, leaning in, Michi Yoshi, who's the author of an article that was published in the International Journal of Sports Biomechanics, using the curved approach causes the body to lean into the center which increases your momentum and uh, your center of gravity. So this prevents a lot of velocity or momentum loss. And when you go to jump, when you're jumping, instead of jumping straight up and having to bring your whole body over the bar, you are, you're arching your back and you're clearing the bar with different parts of your body at a different amount of time. You're not clearing it with your entire body at once. So you arch your back and then your head goes over first and then your back clears and then you kick your legs up which gives you a little more thrust which helps helps you get over the bar as well and so that makes it easier with the scissor kick and this kind of shows the curved approach and how how you kind of turn your body to get over the bar so in summary i have discussed two different types of high jumping techniques the older technique which is the which is the scissor kick and the newer um, approach or technique, which is the Fosbury flop. So now, when you're watching the Olympics, or if you're stuck sitting at a track meet watching the, all the events, and you <laughs> see the high jumping event, you'll understand why they're jumping over the bar backwards and using that form.